Alright, this is going to be a little video on how to use global variables in C Sharp. But before I start, I need to do a little shout out to my boy Dan Callahan. He always breaks my balls about doing this kind of stuff, so I figure I'd throw him out a shout. And another shout out goes to Jonathan Burnett. Uh, you can visit his page at Walks with Trees at YouTube.com. Alright, so here we go. I already have everything set up because it's boring to watch people set the labels and whatnot up, so what we'll do is add a new class. I hope you'll have I hope you all know how to add classes to your project. If not, right click on your your project name and add click on add class make sure class is highlighted and give your class a name we're going to call this one global variables class and click add so here's our class that we just added, global variables class. We're going to set some properties up and as you can see in the first form we have three text boxes with variable 1, variable 2, and variable 3. We're going to set these variables up and save them in our variables class so we can use them in other different forms of our project. So let's begin. So let's go back to the variables class and we'll set up variable 1, 2, and 3. So to start with you need to declare a private static string. And we'll call it variable 1. And we'll e set it equal to nothing for right now. Now we set up a public static string. And we call that variable 1. And this is where we set, we do the set and get property. So we'll do the get first. This returns the variable, the private static variable. And then we'll set the variable, which equal value. That's it. That's it for the variable. Now we can just copy and paste and we'll change the names. We'll change this to variable 2. And then when it asks you if you want to change the name, do yes because it changes them down here also. You just have to change this one. Variable 2. We'll change that. Click yes. We'll paste the third. We'll change this to 3. Ask you to change it. Click yes. Change it. And it changes it down here. You just got to change it one more time here. Now, that's it for the class, the variables class. We have, you, have, you can have as many variables as you want. I mean, if you need 100 variables, then you can use it that way if you need to. But for right now, we're just using these three. So we'll go back to form one. And in the, in the button one, we'll show form two. And in the button two, we'll show form three double click on your button 
and we'll do what we'll you know show a new instance of the form There. That'll show form two, and then we'll do another one for form three. We'll click on button two, and we'll do the same exact thing. There we go. Now, what's, oh, here we go, I made a mistake, my bad. I need an equal sign, not a minus sign. Okay, so that's set up. Now, in each form on the load event, on the load event, we'll do no, no, no. On the button click, the button click event, we need to set the variables to the global class. So we'll do global variable class dot. Now this all of our variables should be in here with a wrench symbol so we'll do variable one we'll set that equal to text variable one dot text and then we'll do the same thing for variable two Two. Dot text, and then we'll do the same for variable three. Now, when you click the button, when you click the button, it should set the globals the variables to the global variable and then when we load up the form on the load event the label will fill with The variables. Whoops. So we can do now we can add a new line. Whoop. We'll add a new line to this one. And we'll do this is variable two. Plus, see, we don't need this actually. We can take that off and we can put it here. Whoops. Variable two. Now we can do plus Whoops. This is a variable. 
plus 3. And we'll do plus global class dot variable 3. And that should do it. And we can copy and paste this to the other form because it's the same same exact layout. We'll just paste that in there. Now, let's see. Let's run the program and uh, we'll see how it works. First of all, you run it. Bring this down here. We'll put variable 1. We'll put house. Variable 2. We'll put boat. Variable 3. We'll put airplane. Don't ask me why I I decided to do them, but all right, so click the button. Hello, this is variable one boat, this is variable two boat, this is variable three airplane. See the these right here now you can shut that and you do the same thing with button two, it shows form three, and it should say the same thing because these variables are in our variable class. So any form in your project can use them anywhere. It's like a, it's like VB. Um, variable, you know, um, global variables, but C doesn't have that, so you have to set up a class for that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Uh, if you did, you know, you can put a like, a thumbs up on my video, and subscribe always. And. Yeah. So I got an error, but I'll fix that in a minute. Right here. This should be one. Not not two. And this should be one. Also. Now that should go away. Let me run. So we'll do that one more time. We'll say variable one is dog. Variable two is cat. Variable three is snake. Button one, dog, cat, snake. Button two, dog, cat, snake. Variable one, two, three. All right. All right, that was it. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.